So guys, this little device over here, the Whoop, is the best way you can measure your sleep quality at home. Yes, much better than Aura Ring, if you're looking at all the studies. So sleep quality is the most powerful tool for recovery and performance in the gym and in the workplace. There's no point of you buying the most expensive supplements and wasting your money on those supplements if you're not getting good quality sleep. So what does the data show with the hundreds of thousands of people on the Whoop app and myself and our clients? What is the best sleep protocol you can do? So number one would be alcohol. Alcohol has the biggest effect on your sleep out of everything you can do. From the Whoop data, it shows 11.98% reduction in recovery. That is more powerful than having a late night meal, or worse than having a late night meal, tobacco, and all the other nasty stuff. Alcohol has the biggest effect on your sleep. You may feel like you've had a, um, you can go to sleep, but the quality will be poor. If I was to knock you out with a baseball bat and you're unconscious for eight hours, it doesn't mean you've had a good quality sleep. Alcohol is a sedative, it will knock you out, but the sleep quality will be poor. You have your restorative sleep, which you want around three to four hours per night if you're getting eight hours sleep. That includes REM sleep and deep sleep combined. Another thing that massively affected my own sleep and our client's sleep is having a late night meal. You want to stop food around three hours before you go to bed. This drastically will improve your sleep quality. Another one would be limit water intake or liquid intake around two hours before you go to sleep. Or this will wake you up during the night. Going to bed, going wake up during the night, as long as you are back asleep within 20 minutes will not actually affect your sleep quality. So don't panic if you're waking up during the night, as long as you're not awake for an extended period of time. Another one would be caffeine intake. I used to be someone that would have a double espresso before I went to bed, literally by my bedside table. Again, you will sleep, but the sleep quality will be poor. You want to stop having your caffeine around 10 hours before you go to bed. So if you go to bed at 10 o'clock, have your last coffee at 12 o'clock. This is an absolute game changer. Sauna. Overall, this personally has had the biggest effect on my own sleep, having a 20 minute sauna in the afternoon. If you do in the morning, that's fine, but try to do a bit later in the day. This will drastically improve your sleep quality. It has improved my rest of, rest of the sleep massively. And I feel so much more refreshed when I wake up in the morning. Another one would be blue light blocking uh, glasses. You want to stop looking at any screens around three hours before you go to bed. So that's your phone, laptop, or TV. You can use, if you need to do work late at night, which I know a lot of you guys have to, I have to sometimes put on some blue light blocking glasses. When I've tried looking blue light before I go to bed, like looking at my phone before I go to bed, it makes a huge difference to my sleep. In terms of supplementation, the few that work out there, the best one being magnesium threonate. 300 milligrams of magnesium threonate or biglycinate before you go to bed, around an hour before you go to bed, will improve your restorative sleep or increase it. Another one is melatonin. I found using three milligrams a day really helpful. But the only issue will help you fall asleep won't, won't keep you asleep. So it can be a tool if you're, for someone who finds it hard to fall asleep will tend not to improve the sleep quality. Guys, thank you so much for listening. Again, sleep quality is an absolute game changer. Using the Whoop app over here has been fantastic and measuring our clients' recovery and my own recovery. See you soon.